Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to Floss Tube. I didn't check. I want to say 34. Who knows? Ross will put it on the screen. Uh, today is Friday, the 4th of August, 2023. Um, yeah, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back to another one of my videos. Um, I was contemplating actually making a video um, this week. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to. I have been uh, struggling quite a bit um, this past week, which... Um, yeah, it's been it's been a time. I'm trying not to cry, which is fine. <laughs> um, it's been a struggle. I'm gonna be real. It's I I suffer from anxiety, depression, PTSD, <laughs> whole bunch whole bunch of mental health problems, um, and life lately has just been struggle town. So. Yeah, uh, I know in my last video I was really excited we were going to see a house. Unfortunately, uh, someone outbid us. Um, we also went to an auction. Someone outbid us. <laughs> so we're no closer to finding a house, but um, we're going to look at a few tomorrow. There's a couple that I really like. Um, so hopefully maybe one of those. If not, we'll keep looking and go from there. Um, yeah. Now, I know 1st of August everyone was expecting the Frogwarts items to be in the Black Needle Vault. Um, Katie unfortunately um, hurt her back and then got bronchitis, the poor thing. Um, so the Frogwarts items will be in the vault, I think, the 14th. I'm not sure um, on the exact date. Follow along on Instagram. I will share it all on there. Um, and anything you want from the Black Needle Society vault, use my code stitchbyliz5 to get yourself 5% off your order. Um, there is uh, overstock items from the B box. They should be going in, I want to say September 1st. Also, don't hold me to that. I don't know. I don't have my box yet. My, I just checked the tracking. Um, I just checked the tracking on my box and it went from Chicago to New York and it's chilling in New York. So um, I will do an unboxing when that box comes. Um, the Winter in Stars Hollow box, the final uh, Stars Hollow retreat goes on sale, I believe, the 10th of August for... Um, for people that didn't or haven't participated in the last retreat, um, keep your eye out for that. Definitely sign up to the Black Needle Society newsletter to get all the information on release dates and themes. Um, I am hanging for the next couple of boxes. So we've got a fairy tale theme and then we've got back to the 80s for... Uh, the November box. I'm a November baby and I was born in the 80s. So I think it's going to be really, really exciting. Um, okay, I'm going to jump into my stitching. Uh, I have two finishes. One of them is massive and I've literally put off filming so I could get it finished. Um, the first one is um, a freebie that Chloe found. Sorry, Chloe. Um, that Chloe found um, and I just saw it and knew I had to stitch it. Now, I'm going to shock everyone here. I didn't stitch on Ada. I know, I know, wow. Um, anyway, it is a Barbenheimer. So if you've been living under a rock, Barbie and Oppenheimer came out at the same time. Um, and I stitched this on a 28 count even weave in the colorway Fairy Floss. Accurate. Uh, it's an opal from Sew It All Australia using Silks For You Silks. This is what it looks like. The black is 310. 
Everything else is silks for you, with the exception of um, the outline of Barbie. I used a Be Stitch Me silk that we got in a black needle box. But this is amazing. Look, I stitched two over two on an even weave. <laughs> who, who am I? Anyway, it's terrified the hell out of me. I'm uh, much more comfortable with Ada. We'll probably stick to Ada going forward. Anyway, the biggest finish I have is my Dark Queen. Uh, part 12 came out on the 1st of August. Um, so the 2nd of August for me. Um, unfortunately, I had a bit of a mental menti B at work um, and took the day off day off I left I actually left work on Wednesday um so I got some of it done then um but most of this was done this morning because I was awake at stupid o'clock and got out of bed at four anyway dark queen of the earth is done uh, the back stitching is done. The beading is done. I've never beaded before. This is the first time I've beaded and oh my god, it was fun. Um, I want to say thank you to every single person on Instagram who answered my questions about beading. You guys helped me so much. But here she is in all of her, all of her glory. Stunning. Oh my god, she's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm gonna post a um I will post a picture on Instagram. It's probably it'll be up before this video, but I will post some close-ups of the beating. She's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Sorta of wanna go and do Dark Queen of the Sea. Uh Dark Queen of the Sea now, but let's be real, I got a million other things to do. And I've got another, like, f three stitch-alongs that I've done, plus another one that I signed up for. So, oh, plans. Anyway, this is my dark queen. She's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm... This is my first fancy lady, too. Anyway, she's done. Um, okay, they're my finishes. I have a finish for now. Well, it was a finish for now. <laughs> the next the next part has been released, which I really need to work on. Um, but that is the Wonders of the Hubble Telescope Stitch Along by Climbing Goat Design. Um, I am stitching this on a 16 count gothic by Picture This Plus. I've mentioned many times that I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this fabric. So this is where we're up to. Oh, it does look so amazing though. It looks so good. Can't wait for the James Webb one. I already have my fabric for that. Um, so this was the most recent release, the Whirlpool, Ga Whirlpool Galaxy. The amount of mistakes in this, it's just, it's done. Next release is here. It's already come out and you would have seen from the photo. Oh, they just, mm, Claire. He's a wonderful, wonderful designer. Um, this needle mind is from Ginger Stitch, are you? <laughs> That's where all my needle minders are from. All right, that was my finish for now. I have two new starts and one more that I need to start. Anyway, um, first up is the Rare Horror Flies Stitch Along by Noctiflora Designs. This is her first ever stitch along. Um, I am doing this with the lovely Miss Chloe uh, and the lovely Miss Amy. Um, I did have different fabric picked out for this one, but I changed my mind the day I started this. Um, I started this the day the day that the day the frame was released. I don't know. Every day is the same. Um, so this is what it looks like so far. So yeah. So there's my fabric. It's like orangey with like purple and green. Anyway, the border is black and green. This is what I've done so far. Still in the Q-snap because I am 
still working on this. Actually, I'm probably going to work on this next. Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, I want to get the frame done on that. <coughs> All right, next up is a stitch along that I did not know that I need until Mel Rouvray um, shared it to her story and said it was free and yep <laughs> the rest is history uh and this is midnight Whis whispers by urban stitches uh this is a black work stitch along love me some black work um and i saw the the frame frame shadow box frame sure for this and wanted to do this straight away um i've still got it in the q snap because i'm still working on it but this is a stitch along where you can pick your own colors. Um, the mock-up, as you would have seen, was black and red. I was going to do black with a variegated red. However, I got, I had this in my stash. And this is Passion Flower by Cottage Garden Threads. And it is just absolutely glorious. Beautiful, beautiful color. So I am using 310 and Passion Flower. Stunning. Um, and this is where I'm up to. There is more in my Q-snap, but I'm working on this at the moment. I love the variegation. So, I will continue working on this. This is likely going to become my when I stitch at work piece, which is really rare, but I think I would like to take it on a... Tuesday and Thursday and do it during my lunch break. Um, that'll give me something to do. Um, this needle minder, if it wants to focus, is from Ginger Stitch AU. Uh, all right, they were my new starts. I'm going to get into my whips. I don't have too many. Um, first up was a whip go call and that is Frogwarts Year One by the Black Needle Society. Um, this is what it looks like. This chart is available on the Black Needle Society website in the vault. Um, the other charts are only available um, to people that participate in the retreats until all of them are complete. Now, Frogwarts is a really fun time. If Harry Potter is your thing and you know digital retreats are your thing, sign up for Frogwarts Year 5. It's going to be phenomenal uh so this is what it looks like um i'm stitching this on an 18 count that i dyed myself never shows up but this is what i'm up to now there is a counting issue <laughs> because my grid was wrong the top square of my grid is only nine squares not ten um nine going down sorry so all of this is wrong and I didn't want to pick it out. So I moved down to work on Alohomora. Um, and I did a lot in the bottom border for the um, for some fandom stitching challenges. Um, this needle minder is from Itchy Stitchy, it's no longer available, and this was the year three needle minder for the retreat. Um, I am using a mix of floss for this. So I'm using Petite Treasure Braid for some sparkle. I'm using the Called For Variegated, uh, the Called For Overdyed, and then I'm using DMC Variegated for the Birdie Bots. Exciting. Um, all right, next up um, is a project in which I frogged 4,800 single crosses because I was hating life on this project um, and then restarted it doing two over one tent. And this is uh, Diagon Alley by Country Magic Stitch. Um, I originally started this in like 2022 and I just wasn't enjoying the one over one um, full cross. So now I'm doing two over one tent and oh my gosh, it's flying. So... <laughs> The reason it is the way it is, is because I was using this for fandom stitching challenges. Um, I had to do yellow stitches for a prompt. Um, but this is 
amazing. This literally in two days had 1600 10 stitches. I love 10 stitch. 10 stitch is really nice and really fast. And I'm going to do this now for all of my full coverages. Except for Max. Max is still one over one full cross. Uh, two over one full cross on 18 count, but confetti central. So my two over one tent on 22 count using CXC is very nice. And I figured out how continental tent, tent stitch works. So I don't have weird lines. And the back is like so smooth. <laughs> anyway, priorities. Um, this needle minder is also from Itchy Stitchy. It's no longer available. Um, all right. The next thing I worked on was also my uh, whip go goal for what are we in August, July? Um, and that is the Collectors by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, I do have extra fabric stitched on this because my margins were like it wasn't fitting comfortably in the Q snap. Anyway, um. This got about 700 stitches, not much because trees are hard. And um, I know Esther, the Danish stitcher in her whip parade said, she thinks it was me that said trees are hard. It is me that says trees are hard, because trees are hard. So I've gotten to the point now where I'm outlining the trees and then filling them in because counting is hard. So I don't know, let me just move my needle minders. So I just put some more work into these trees, outlining the green, and then I started putting one of the collectors in. Um, this is on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. Two over one full cross using the called for DMC. Both needle minders are from Ginger Stitch EU. I love autumn lane charts, but whew, it's a lot of stitching. A lot of stitching. Um, all right, and the last thing that I worked on is another stitch along. It is also not caught up and I need to because the next release comes out tomorrow and I am not gonna be caught up before it comes out, which is fine. It's a start along. When do I ever keep up with my stitch alongs? Except for Dark Queen, like she got done and finished on time. Um, anyway, this is the Greenhouse of Oddities stitch along by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. Um, this is stitched on an 18 count volcano stitching fabric. Uh, two over one full cross with the called for DMC. This is where I am up to. So I got in one of the poisonous plants, part of the skeleton. So I'm just doing like what's in here and then I'll move over and do the corpse flower eventually. And then it's a choose your own adventure for who goes in for next week. Oh, for this week, sorry. Um, so yeah, I really need to pull out and do some work on this one, but it is what it is. I'm not, I'm likely not going to get caught up. Which is fine. Um, needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. This one's from Accoutrement Designs. And I want from the Spring Instars Hollow. From the Spring Instars Hollow Retreat. Um, and that's, that's literally all I've worked on. Uh, not much. Um, I do have plans to continue the Noctiflora Designs frame. I want to start the frame for the, oh my god, the Disney villain mugshot stitch along by Abby Sue Designs. Um, that is October, an October start, so I've got time to do the frame, which is fine. Um, Otherwise, I'm just going to work on what I want um, and just do the fandom stitching challenges because they bring me life and give me joy. <laughs> um, I will be starting a dimensions kit that has not made its way to me yet. Um, my best friend has asked me to um, do a uh, do a kit for her mum that belonged to her grandmother. Um, so I will be starting that as soon as it comes in, um, as well. I'm working that into my rotation. That one is a, I will work on that, like either a little bit every day or at least do a chunk every week. Um, and it's Frederick the Literate. Um, so it's the cats on the bookshelf, which is going to be really cute. Um, all right. I only have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of haul, 
Um, however, I do have some happy mail and it is a chart that I got gifted from the lovely Amanda over at Amanda Stitches on Instagram. Um, she welcomed me to the Slytherin team by purchasing me the um, Dark Mark um, cross stitch chart that she was doing because it's been on my wish list since the start of the year. Um, and obviously I'm not purchasing charts um, this year, which mm, is subject to change because I'm just, I've had enough of this ridiculous burn. Um, but she purchased that for me. So thank you so, so very much. I need to kit that up and actually start it. Um, so that was my happy mail. Thank you. Um, and then my haul, I got in my little 3D printed cauldron, my little orc cauldron. Does have some, does have some beads. <laughs> this is the frogging I was doing, but this is from Erin. Um, she sells them for frog warts um, and they have their little lid. I want like a life size one. This would be so cool. Anyway, um, it came in, love it. Um, I got one for Chloe as well. And that's with her pile off to the side that needs to, <laughs> needs to go to her. Um, and the other little bits that I got was an order from Ginger Stitch AU because he was having a sale. I mean, was he having a sale? No, he wasn't. Um, Zane released <laughs> some new needle miners and I needed them. Um, anyway, I bought a set of the rainbow floss drops for some of my smaller projects. Um, and then I also got a few needle minders. Three of them. Three of them are new. <laughs> One of them is not. I got the little cookie tin, <laughs> cookie tin needle miner. It's got obviously the magnets on the back, but it also opens. It's really hard to open. Anyway, it opens. There's an, a magnet on the lid um, and you can store your little orts in here. Uh, the next one I got was the hydrangea which is super cute. I love this. That one is new. Um, I also got, I'm pretty sure this one is new, the Lavender Fields one. I love these acrylic artwork ones. They're so nice. Uh, and then the last one I got is the Glow in the Dark Fox. I don't know how well they glow in the dark because I haven't tested it yet. Um, but if you need details, these are Ginger Stitch AU's details. Um, if you're in Australia, here. If you are in America, um, Ginger Stitch Needle Minders are also sold on Amazon. And we love them. Um, and the very last thing that I purchased is because, you know, I'm not allowed to be purchasing charts, but Bella Filipina and Fibalicious Yummy Fibers are doing a stitch along for the first time and it is going to be PDF and I had to sign up when I saw it. So it is a, um, um, so yeah, the last piece of haul I got was the, um, Bella Filipina Fibalicious Yummy Fibers, um, seasonal mermaid stitch along, which is going to be available via PDF. Um, it's something like 69 DMC colors. Uh, what did I say? Eight, eight chronic and like 16 beads or something like that. I don't know. I bought it. Do I need it? No, but I wanted it. So I bought it. <laughs> um, so that will eventually be a start. It's not going to be a start anytime soon. <clears throat> whenever it happens it happens um I have a myriad of other projects to work on so yeah I don't know what that I don't know what that sound was sorry um the very very last thing I wanted to do was a couple of shout outs so I want to say a big thank you to um Gammy Stitcher I think it is um she shouted me out in her video um, Alex over at Chasing Alex, um, shouted me out in her video, um, Esther, 
the Danish stitcher shouted me out in hers. Um, but I want to give a huge shout out to a new floss tuber and you all need to go and watch her because she was fabulous in her first floss tube and I know she was nervous about doing it. Um, but Sarah over at the Redneck Bifocal Stitcher, I think that's, anyway, she'll be listed down below. Um, she joined the little floss tube community and her video was just amazing. I really enjoyed it. So go and give them a follow. Um, obviously anyone else I've mentioned, go and follow them as well. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. Solid that we made it through a video. Good times. All right. Um, yeah, I've got nothing else. <laughs> I'm just waffling now. Do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.